So this is Azura, and it's my entry for the BAFTA Young Game Designers competition. It's a procedurally generated world in which the player must face off against the darkness in order to free their people. The development of Lavaria started off with the terrain generation and player movement. I kept it fairly simple as to not overcomplicate the mechanics of the game later on, so the player can walk, run, and jump around using the WSAD keys, the mouse, and the spacebar. I chose to generate the terrain using Pearl and Noise, as I could easily set a seed. This would allow for differing terrain if the player decided to play again later. After this, I started to add flowers, grass, and trees to the game. To do so, I used Pearl Noise to generate their position before adding them to the chunk that they were generated on. At this point the screen was fairly burned so I started adding the UI. This would start off with the health bar and armor bar and continue all the way to the player's inventory, the weapons they have equipped, and the forge in which the players can use to upgrade their swords and shields. I then added the mobs to the game, they can drop scrolls which the player can pick up to gain either a sword or a shield. To keep things simple, I program them to be territorial around where they spawn, patrolling it and chasing after the player if they enter their spawn area. When I started off with the fighting mechanics, it was fairly uneventful with the mobs walking towards the player and attacking once in range. And so I gave the mobs the ability to teleport a short distance around the player before continuing their attack. Once I had finished the mobs, I decided to add some visuals to the game. I added bloom, the clouds changing colour, and some fireflies which fly around at night, making the game look a lot nicer. I then added the boss fight in which the player is transported to the void and they must battle against the overlord and a swarm of shadows spawn. I added some lighting effects to the floor and camera shake to make the fight look more intense. And lastly, I made it so that once the player has killed the overlord, they are taken back to Liberia, and when they kill any mobs, they turn into citizens of Liberia. And once all the mobs are converted, it rolls the credits and takes the player back to the main menu, where they can either quit or start a new game.